it's a little mind blowing to me how two grown women in the middle of the day set out on this little road trip and then they just disappear. How does that happen? I just don't get it. Been on plenty of roads by myself. I didn't disappear. So tell me what you think. I don't, I don't get it. But the way I understand it is the family and friends have been told to keep it hush. Don't say anything. Don't talk to people. Don't interview. Don't give any information. And that's where we are right now. Let's talk about these two missing moms from Kansas that were on a trip to Oklahoma to pick up some children. There are some things I left out that is good information to have, so we'll go over it really quick. Veronica Butler, she's 27 years old, five foot four. She has red hair, green eyes. She was wearing a blue shirt, short sleeve, denim shorts and hated shoes. Jillian Kelly is 39 years old. She has brown hair, blue eyes. She was wearing white washed blue jeans and tan or beige shoes. They both have tattoos that are identifiable. Jillian Kelly is married to the pastor of First Christian Church of Hugaton, Kansas and the car stopped right there or was found right there in texas county which they're saying is eckert and that they were on their way to eva oklahoma to pick up the children two grown women from hugaton kansas got in a small blue kia and went on a road trip that should have taken about 45 minutes ish their car was found on the side of the road but they weren't. They just disappeared. No one saw them. No one's heard from them. They just vanished. I don't know how that happens, but we'll go over it. Veronica Butler and Julianne Kelly left on March 30th, which was Saturday, the Saturday before Easter, to go on a 45 minute-ish trip to pick up Veronica's children, apparently. I've heard supervised visit. I've heard pick up children for a birthday party. I don't know what that's about, but apparently there are some custody battles stuff that happened. The children they were picking up were Veronica Butler's two kids, kids that she shares with an ex, and kids who right now are under the custody of the paternal grandmother. From what we've been told, it seems like there is some serious bad blood between Veronica Butler and her ex's mother. The grandmother has custody of the children, the father's mother. Found out today, News Nation reported that the husband of Veronica which when I go to her Facebook, I find that it says she's engaged, not married, but it says the husband of Veronica didn't hear from her. Like she wasn't checking in or she wasn't replying and it had, had some time had gone by and he knew the route that they would be on. And so he started driving the route and he is the one that found the car abandoned. And I'm not sure if he called the police before he got to the car or after, but I believe he is the one that called the police and they responded to that after he found the car abandoned. We also know that Veronica's cell phone, the last ping it had was right there where the car was found. And some people have put up video of where the car was found and there's nothing. It's just wide open spaces with some power poles maybe. There's not a lot of information about what's happening, what they found. Are they interested in people? Is it sus? Is it not? Should the people of the town be worried? The school in the area has been on lockdown for two days now. Today is Wednesday, April the 3rd. So today was the second day the school was on lockdown. And will it be on lockdown tomorrow, which would be April the 4th? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure it's April the 4th by now. And We'll just have to find out, but it's a little mind blowing to me how two grown women in the middle of the day set out on this little road trip and then they just disappear. How does that happen? I just don't get it. Been on plenty of roads by myself. I didn't disappear. So tell me what you think. I don't, I don't get it. But the way I understand it is the family and friends have been told to keep it hush. Don't say anything, don't talk to people, don't interview, don't give any information, and that's where we are right now. We heard that the the guy running the show, whoever that is, is talking about it looks a little sus just because they disappeared and so he feels like they are in danger.
there's every reason to uh, believe that that they, they could be in danger. But what else do you know? Tell us something. Do you know more like in the Koberger case where they just showed up and arrested dude when people didn't think they knew anything? What, what reason? Just because they disappeared? What other reasons do you have? Like what was in the car or were any 911 calls made or there's a some, I don't know exactly where the car was found, but I did look on Google Earth and there's lots of businesses right there before that highway, I think it's highway 95. So was she, did she drive through that or did she not get to that yet? Because I feel like there would be cameras right there. As far as we know, these two women are not really great friends, they're just acquaintances. And apparently Jillian is an approved person that can be a supervisor on these supervised visits. And so I guess she was just going along to be that person. All right, I think I've gone over everything except for who to get in touch with, if you know anything about these women or the way that they disappeared, or how they disappeared or why they disappeared or any of that. I'll put the flyer up, all the information is there. If you know something, say something. Let me know what you think. It's a little disturbing to me. I know I've said that a few times, but I wanna know what you think. And I wanna know how these women just disappeared because I'm a woman, I don't wanna disappear. All right, thanks for being here. I'm sure there's some fuck ups at the end of this that um, I'll leave in for you and I'll see you soon. Hogaton, is that right? I gotta find the name of this place. Should I have my laptop in here? Yeah, yeah. Hogaton. Hogaton. <sighs> wow. People just disappear. And usually they just disappear in ones, but this is two. There were a few things I left out that you should probably know. They're good. It's good information. As far as we know, the pastor, he went, he knew the path that they were on. He knew, we'll talk about it, and a tan, current partner, spouse, wife, girlfriend. Um, the Kia was, I found out today, news. Get in touch with OSBI, I think is who it is. I haven't seen any cameras on the buildings, but I didn't zoom in like that and look, but I could. I can do that. I'll do that. Got some stuff written down here, just for you. Because how do people just disappear? All right, here we go.